Oh boy. Hello, Subnautica. Power How you stopped. doing? All primary systems online. It's been a while. It's been a while. Uh, I did that thing where I play one game too much for a while. How you doing, buddy? I played a lot of Subnautica. Uh, so I had like two weeks of video backlogged and I'm just now getting back to it. Because I did that thing where I get into one game too much and then I neglect the other games and then suddenly my deadlines are coming up on those games. I'm like, shit, I gotta get caught up. And then I end up paying for my overplaying of one game by then underplaying it for a little while. So, it's gonna, we're gonna have a remix. Remix is not a word to use here. Uh, I'm gonna have to reallocate my behavior. I'm gonna have to figure out what to do next. Might, might just pick a whole new task out of the blue, out of nowhere. So, you know, I don't know. Maybe this is what the series needs anyway. It's nice to come back to my home, though. Like, this place that I set up that looks neat. Oh, I got the fish. I actually forgot that I caught fish for this already. But yeah, I got last time I set up a nice little house. And this place it feels like I have a place now instead of one room I'm trying to fit every single thing into, even though this room has really served me real well so far. All right. I'm gonna look through my diary entries for a little while and edit that out uh, and to review what I could do next. Uh, no, stop, no, what? Ah, weird bug. I right clicked on it instead of putting it in the other inventory, it's just on my mouse now. Okay, it's back, okay, ah. Ooh. Oddly terrifying to have the game just sort of like, sort of lose its mind for a moment. <laughs> Alright, so. I've made extensive notes based on all the information in my PDA about, uh, first of all, I went into the beacons we have right now, and then I also went into my PDA notes about the, where are they, the Aurora survivors that we know about, not that one, this one more, uh, so there's four, six, and seven are the ones that we haven't found yet that are from this screen. But I think I even have ones that I still have signals for that I haven't gone to yet because I've just been doing the other tasks because there's so many of them. So I wrote down 4, 6, 7, 17, 3, 12, and 19. 17 is the one by the cave system. That's where my other base is. Obviously, we've been there. 3 is the first one I ever found, the damaged sea glide location, which I also just revisited. Uh, 12 and 19, I currently have waypoints for. I think I haven't been to them yet. Uh, but I'm pretty sure I've not been to 4, 6, or 7. Let's see, 12 I have a signal for, it's on an ocean bed. 19 I have a signal for, it's where 2nd off Officer Keen is supposed to be. 4 I do not have a signal for, it's floating in a radioactive area 150 meters northwest of the Aurora. Life Pod 6 is in a red seaweed area, which is familiar territory, but not one I've been to yet, apparently. It has radiation. It's 400 meters west-northwest from Life Pod 4. So if I find Life Pod 4, I could find that, but if I find that first, I could find Life Pod 4 by reversing that direction. Life Pod 7 is uh, 200 meters down, which I'm not fond of. That's what we're looking at right now. I'm looking at my notes is why the screen's not moving right now. And the uh, life pod 7 is uh, 200 meters down, and it's one kilometer southwest of the Aurora. I have to admit, since I didn't have beacons at the time, and I didn't place one, and I don't have anything else there, I actually uh, might have a little trouble finding that island again if I want to go there again. I don't think I, I'm not sure if I currently have anything that points me there, since I think the waypoint that sent me there originally is gone now. Let's see. The Degassi Habitat, we just went there. The proposed Degassi Habitat was the first, uh... That's one we haven't been to yet. Uh, I'm gonna take that off for now. I'm not ready to go 500 meters down. Uh... Yeah, so the Degassi Habitat is the one that we just went to that had all that stuff in it and I got the multi-purpose room. Let's see, this is my- those are my manual ones. Proposed Degassi Habitat is a much later objective for now. And out of these two, I've marked that I found 17 and 3 already in my notes. I've marked that now. I don't know about 12 and 19, but I don't think I've found them yet. I think that's going to be new for me, but I'm not entirely sure. But we'll see. So my current goal is to go to check out 12 and 19. And just take some water with me and hope things work out. Uh, take my base const- I have the stuff with me so I can make a scanner room. Because that's my one of my current, uh... Modus operandi, I guess, is to is to set up my. It's doing it. Why is it doing it again? Stop that! 
What the hell? Uh... No, what? What? What the fuck? <laughs> it's a... Ah! What is it? It's like having trouble transferring items. Like, it freaks out. I hope that goes away. I don't know why that's happening. I have enough items to make a scanner room and to make a... Uh... Solar panel. That's actually not enough. Uh... Didn't think about that again. Hatch. One quartz, two titanium. I almost made the same mistake again. The way to actually get in. Haha. -ha. I look- I look- I'm at some point I'm gonna move all this stuff into a larger room. So I can actually see the labels clearly without like going- Cause yeah, the hallway's not the best place, but it's the room we had at the time. But yeah, like, being able to see it from a distance, like, from this distance, I'd be able to see all the labels at once. I might make, I might make a whole multi-purpose room just to line all of the walls with storage. And, uh, I might show you guys just me making the multi-purpose room, and then magically all of the chests are now there. Because that's... I don't even want to try to do commentary over that. So that's the second Officer Keen, 300 meters down. That's not encouraging. Where's the other one? Life pod, ocean bed, 250 meters down. They're both down there. That one's a little less down there. I think I'm gonna try that one out. And we go back into the ocean. Hello, Seamoth. How you doing on battery? Welcome uh, 50%. Captain. Uh, I believe I have a power cell in my inventory. Yeah, okay. So I can, I can swap you out. That's not that big of a deal. Alright. We're going to be spending some time poking around on the map today. Hello. Y'all are just kind of amassing debris around me lately, huh? Hello. You coming after me? Or do I not recommend that? Do you really want to know who wins if I ram if we ram? Cuz I don't know if you want to win want to learn that. Uh, it's really far away. All right. Uh, so, I think the game's running a little better. You can still see the pop-in happening, but the game's not hitching while it's popping in. I, I told the game to be forced into exclusive full-screen mode, which might be related to the weird bug we're getting with the clicking, but also might be why the game's running a bit better. Even while the poppin' is happening. Wow, look at that poppin'. That's like next level. Ooh. Okay, so we have tons of those guys around here, but no surprises right now. Have I been here before? Let's keep an eye out. There might be all new debris I've never seen before. It's a red zone, so it's consistent with one of the crash locations that I may have not found yet. It's just not the one I'm currently looking for. Doesn't make it irrelevant. Hello. I... Not... Oh, hey! I think that's actually one of the life pods that I'm not looking for right now, but yeah, I'm looking for right now. I mean, it's just not the one that my waypoint's for, but... See, yeah, yeah, life pod six in red, radiation zone, 400 meters northwest of life pod four. But I was like, so this is the, this is on my list. What's that? You're new. Am I safe right now? Comparatively. Oopsie. Fuck. Why? Ooh, look at that guy. Yep. Radiation suit's on. Rebreather shouldn't be a problem. You don't die from the, the lack of a rebreather, you just lose oxygen faster. Was I too close to it? Yep. Yep, those attack. Those attack, okay. So the, the other one was likely attacking me. 
I think I've scanned it before. I think that was the thing that was on the back of the... Ow. Biter, you dick. I think that was the thing that was on the back of the reef back before. Yeah, so it's not new. They are douchebags, though. Don't forget about that. Laser cutter fragment, a little relevant right now, but sure. Jesus, they're everywhere. Okay. Fine. Oxygen's definitely lasting. Uh, let's take the Seamoth closer before I hop out. Alright, well I get to chop you off the list, number four. They seem pretty dead. I don't like how open the ocean is around here. Oh, ah! Go away. I will fucking cook you. Come here. You wanna try again? Abandoned PDA. Add that to the list. Life Pod 6, Crew Log 2. Oh, flares. I'll add things to the list. Is it just the one one piece of data? It might say where they went. Let's see. Uh, oxygen lasts for a while. I can probably just do it right now in here. What are you doing? You were gone so long. I thought you drowned. Put the flare down. I was going to try and attract someone's attention. That's not a distress flare. Stop waving it around like that. You'll catch the fuel line. Oh. The mistakes of untrained personnel. Blowing shit the fuck up, as it were. Should I even make a beacon for this place? It's just kind of... Just kind of a place where people died. I don't know if it's gonna come up again. Open data box. Ultra glide fin. Streamline construction enhances swim speed considerably. Go away. Go away. You. Get out of here. Can I eat them? Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> Can I eat them? <laughs> oh, hey. Oh, more. That's their immediate surroundings. Let's hop, hop in here real quick. Am I being hunted by a shark right now? No, he doesn't seem to care about me. Ma'am, I need you to stay calm. We're not in immediate danger. Where are the rescue teams? The Aurora didn't make it. So, where are the rescue teams? They're dead, ma'am. We have rendezvous coordinates, but the routes are radiated. So, what are you going to do? I'm head of human resources, ma'am. This is not my expertise. But the PDA says if we can find some lead, we can make radiation suits. Oh, there! I am not setting foot outside this life pod without the proper protection. Don't worry. I'll go. Oh, Ma'am? Ma'am, I am the head of human resources, and I am speaking to you in a manner according to that, ma'am. Well, she tried to get things done, and the other one was useless, and now they're dead. Oh, uh, the person that was being useless is also the person who blew everything up with the, with the flare being stupid. Oh, she went out to help and deal with everything, and then while she was gone, the other person just lit a flare and blew the place up. Great. So she contributed nothing but pain and death. I do not like the direction that that beacon is in, nor do I like how far it is in that direction. Uh, if we had proper line of sight, I could see the other pod from here. Four is supposed to be 400 meters east, southeast from here. I think that means you look at east and then you turn towards southeast. So that way. It's 400 meters that way, as opposed to that, which is 800 meters that way. And it's on the surface of the water, which means it's way the hell up there. And I don't like the idea of being there because I like being near the, the I like being near the floor when I'm swimming around, because then at least if I uh, if something attacks me, I can at least like look up. Like it's, at least it'll come from above. Like I know what direction it's coming from. If if I'm in the open air, I'm paranoid because I'm checking every direction simultaneously. That's not a good feel. It's too bad there's no scanner in this vehicle right now. 
maybe there will be one day. I don't know. I just wish I could scan my surroundings without hopping, or at least know whether or not I should scan these things. It's just a sea moth fragment. Being able to recognize them better would also help, but that's just a me thing. That's a forklift! How do I make the forklift? The bioreactor fragment? Well, I'm, I'm not going to be lacking bar table. I'm not going to be lacking... I almost said Titanite. I'm permanently damaged by Dark Souls. Titanium. Am I out of inventory already? That went fast. Oh, the flares didn't help, among other things. Bioreactor fragments. Yeah, we, let's just scan stuff that's actually new for me, if I find it. Because uh, I'm out of space for the miscellaneouses. It's a- we're a little- we're chugging a little bit now. This is a big enough wreck that it's definitely tempting to just... Hello, hallway. It doesn't go anywhere. It's definitely tempting for me to just make a scanner room and just, and just have that checked to see if there's any new fragments around here. Might be a bit unnecessary. I didn't- I didn't find anything besides, like, a bar table. And that's just scrap metal. And stuff that's not open. Bioreactor. Demoth. Are you trying to attack me right now? Like, not that well? Good thing they're really bad at maneuvering, or I'd be in some trouble here. Anyway, vroom. I need to go not not suffocate now. <laughs> as I man, as I crash directly into it. All right, still got 44 battery. Uh, let's go for the waypoint. Trying to find something via visual scan is scary. And I don't like the idea of hugging the roof. Unless it gets less shallow over there. Wow, that uh, pop-in is significant. Hello! Those are new. What are you? Those are new sounds. It's so open around here. Are you spooked around me? Are we friends? Rat. Jelly Ray friend? Rat. You're hard to scan. Tree leech. Really uncomfortable. What's that? Another egg? The biomass. In this area is dominated by plant life, picking up faint or terror vehicle signatures. You are, you are way bigger than I thought you were, and it's hard to tell how close you are, <laughs> based on that. Oh, they were. It was way further away than I thought it was. It's scary. Uh, it's totally a face hugger, right? Absolutely a face hugger. Is that more salt? Or that's the yeah, that's lithium, that's salt. Yeah. Oh, these are big old deposits. One of these days I'll be able to actually get you guys. That bright purple spot, is that just another another leech? What is that? Eh? It's whatever. Well, I appreciate that these rays don't seem to be attacking me actively. This is a new biome, I guess.
Neat. All right, back to the sea ray, the sea moth before I die. Sea ray? Why am I thinking sea ray? Oh wait, sea ray I think is a type of boat. I think that's a brand of boat and that's why I'm thinking of it. All right, back to not dying of the water. <laughs> That doesn't strike me as a scannable type of object. Maybe debris I can use? What was that? I don't know what hit me. Oh, there's a lot of fish around here. I'm down 7% durability. Was that just from that hit? Uh, it's probably a generic hatch, but I'm not really sure. Cyclops Bridge Fragment, hello. Wait, is that the escape pod? I think it is. That might be why there's a Cyclops Bridge Fragment around here. Maybe. To those sounds. There's another giant dude there. Big friendly shape. I think I see it. I didn't know if I'd be able to find it so easily. Spooked about the openness of the area. I th I'm What am I hearing? Yeah, stop it. <laughs> I guess it's just the openness of the air. There's like a hum and I don't like it because it gives me makes, makes me feel pressure. All right, let's just hope for the best. Escape pod 4 is upside down. Oh shit. Why can't I get in? I want in. Oh hey, opening. Cool. So we found pot we found four. Scratch that off the list too. Creature decoy attaches, attracts creatures to its location, can be deployed by hand or by submarine, cannot be reclaimed once deployed. Acquired. Oh, the water's looking weird. Alright, this that's a big deal. So I found four and six, and I'm on my way to 19. We're chopping a lot of pods up this list. We're just it upside down. Capsized. I just don't like how open my surroundings are right now. I super hate it. Oh no, I just had the feeling. <laughs> I just had the feeling that made me not want to, not want to do diving anymore when I did actual diving. Is that feeling. When you see it just go forever down there. It probably doesn't help that I'm afraid of heights. And when there's when you're sufficiently deep in the water, it just looks like heights at some point. Like that's like my two biggest things are heights and spiders. And heights don't usually do something to any heights usually don't do anything to me in video games. But every now and then a video game will be in a situation where it's sufficiently uncomfortable. Cause there's a in this game in particular, there's the implication of threat to my surroundings. So I'm more worried about the height at times. Hey! The familiar sight. Go away. Hey! Assholes. I know assholes. Do the sharks and assholes fight each other? It's amazing how a predator animal can be a welcome thing that I'm happy to see, because I'm like, oh, look, it's like I'm home. 
Go away. <laughs> Did that work? <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> Light in your face. Supply crate? Full of... Oh, who cares? It's full of who cares is the answer. <laughs> Medical kits. <laughs> I've made a few. <laughs> Funny, it bothers people how much I have them backlogged sometimes. I'm like, I don't make them. They just happen automatically, and I just put them in the box, because I might as well keep them. I'm not, like, mass crafting with them with my resources. It's just a trusty medical crafter thing that just exists. Oh, that's the part of a shark. I've done that before now. We're, we're at the Aurora. That's not even what I set out to do, but here we are. Can you just fucking go get a Jesus? Get your own- get a hobby. Go away. He does not like that I brushed up near him. Is he going under- is he going under now? Are you chasing me right now? Y'all need to come up with something better to do with your life. Alright. No, it's doing it again. Why is it- stop that. There we go. Thankfully it clo- it fixes when you close it, but... <laughs> it's happening a lot. <laughs> Be a lot more fun if it didn't happen at all. Hey you, I would like to eat you. That's not how I eat you. That's the... It's not a good system. God damn, you are hard to eat. There you go. Yum yum. Don't make clicking noises at me. Don't you click at me. Power transmitter. Hello. I guess my I guess my lead suit is really working right now, as far as the radiation situation goes. Not a lot to worry about right there. Oh, it's down there. Is there a way into the Aurora, I wonder? I'm right here. And it's goddamn massive. You're not even edible, right? You weird ones. I don't want to get too close to all the problems over there. They can just have it for a bit. Welcome aboard, Captain. Welcome aboard, Captain. Hook my head up. Alright, I see the capsized ship. I don't really see a way into the Aurora, Aurora from here. Maybe there'll be a gaping hole somewhere? I'm sitting here exploring cautiously, but the slower I go, the more I have to deal with running out of food and water. I should have stocked more. But then that's just more inventory space problems, because you spent so much of your inventory stocking f Oh, sorry. I wasn't even moving that fast. How'd that kill you? You spend your whole inventory stocking up with- in this region are sparse. The Aurora's radioactive fallout will have devastating effects on the alien ecosystem if not contained within the next 24 hours. What? I can't do anything about that. I, wait, I don't think that was a real objective. I don't think that was the game saying like, you have to do this now or you're fucked. Uh, it's just, is that coming from you? Yeah, I don't think that was necessarily a, a game objective and more like, just, uh, just the game acknowledging the downside of the Aurora situation. Can you fuck off? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Go away. I don't know why light- I don't know why I'm just like... Holding on to this idea that the lights help. What's that? Propulsion cannon, I already got that. That can't even fit in my inventory. Whoops. Am I at a risk right now, or not? That's the annoying guy. Go away. You easily outmaneuvered weirdo. 